Hey, in this episode, I'll show you how I installed this quick set handle and deadbolt on my door. This is the downtown model deadbolt I bought from quick set. This is our latch bolt. And the first step is to extend it using a screwdriver. So here we want to see that this D-shaped hole is centered in the hole of the door. And it is. If it's not, then you'd rotate this outer casing to make this piece longer. Now you can see in this case, it's too far to the left. So we actually want this shorter and that's perfect. Because this door has a rectangular recess to hold the face plate, we now need to install this back plate onto the latch bolt. And it just slides over the bolt and clicks into place over this little circular nub. And this curved part here lets us know that this is the bottom of the latch bolt. So this slides in with that curved side down and probably needs a good push to set it in place. And we take two of these small screws to fully attach that faceplate and the latch bolt behind it. So this kit comes with two sets of bolts depending on how thick your door is. So just measure it and figure out if you're gonna use the long or the short ones. This door is one and three quarters, which means I'll use the slightly longer ones. So now make sure the turn piece is vertical and this mounting plate goes over the back of it like this. So now we want this, the torque blade, to go right through the latch cam. Make sure the turn piece is vertical and that the deadbolt is extended. So you can see it coming through that hole right there. And that lower hole is where we want this shaft or torque blade to go. So make sure the curved part of that shaft is pointing up when you insert it. And it settles into place like that. And you'll want to hold on to it until you put the screws in. Now grab those screws that you measured the door for and screw them in. As you tighten these up, make sure that your hardware is level and plumb. Now you can check to see that the deadbolt operates smoothly, both with the turn piece and with the key. Finally, we have to install the strike plate. And in my case, my door frame came with a hole that was a bit too small for this strike plate. So here I'm using a razor to trace out the perimeter of the strike plate. So I can then chisel out this recess to the right dimensions. This was still a snug fit, so I used a piece of wood to protect the door frame as I hammered it into position. Now drive the two longest screws into the holes closest to the jam stop or weather stripping and the shorter screws in the last two holes. And that's the deadbolt installed. This is the quick set handle set I got. And it goes on the door like this, which requires a hole to be drilled through this new door. And thanks to this clever little piece, there's quite a bit of tolerance in where that hole goes. The first step is to take this template and fold it down the dotted line. On the template, you can see the deadbolt hole, and this is where the handle set is gonna go. And for this handle, it tells us to drill the lower mounting hole in one of these two locations, depending on how it lines up with the hole in the door above. Now line up the fold on the template along the edge of the door and feel for the hole through the template and move it around as necessary and figure out if it's the left circle or the right circle that it's lining up with. In my case, it lines up with the right circle, so I'll follow that right vertical line down to the dot at nine and one eighth inch, which is the distance for this handle. And then I use an awl to make a mark on the door where we need to drill that hole. Now I'm using a smaller drill bit to do a pilot hole through the door as straight and level as I can. The instructions say to use a 7 16th inch drill bit, which seems really big considering this is a piece that needs to go through it. So I'm going to be a bit cautious here and use a smaller drill bit instead. Now hold the bottom latch up against the door to see if this D-shaped hole is in the center of the hole in the door, which it is. If it weren't, there's a little adjustment here we can make with this pin to make it longer. And so now that D-shaped hole isn't centered. So with this little pin that goes out on both sides, we can slide it in and make this shorter again. And this is the right length for my door. The beveled part of the latch goes towards where the door closes and this slides in just like that. And now we secure it with these two small screws. This part here is called the spindle and it goes into that D-shaped hole. As you can see right now, it actually wouldn't line up. And these clever lock designers made it so you can pull the spindle out and rotate it around. And this is so the handle will work with the left hand or right hand opening door. 
and now it will fit with this one. Now put that bottom post through the hole you made in the door and the spindle through the bottom latch. And you can see how the spindle has come through. Now we'll secure the bottom of the handle with this plastic washer and long screw. And don't make it too tight yet because we want to make sure that the handle is nice and parallel with the edge of the door. And that's already looking really good. Now we'll put this beautiful handle in. It slides on just like that and you can start securing it with one of the screws. To better reach the other screw, using the supplied Allen wrench, loosen the grub screw in the handle and remove the handle. Now you can easily tighten both screws while making sure that that face plate is all nice and straight. Check to make sure that your handle is vertical again, and if you're happy with it, tighten up those three screws. This little screw cover has a notch in it, so I'm gonna make sure that's facing down so you can't see it. And it just snaps right on. Now we can reinstall the handle and tighten up that grub screw. Finally, we can install the strike plate in the door frame by securing it with the two supplied screws. And that's the new handle and deadbolt installed. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. I actually installed these on my new door and I have a video about that coming out soon and I hope to see you then. Thanks. Hey, I'm Dan and my mom and I bought some land out in the countryside to build a house. And to help with that, we thought we should have a trailer. So why not renovate a 1949 Spartan Manor? So if you want to see how these go, plus some other random DIY stuff, subscribe and follow along.